Hey man, the video you're about to get ready to watch may be offensive to some people. It may even hurt some feelings. But hey, it needs to be said, and to be quite honest, I don't really give a shit. And they say that this is the reason why people don't trust cigar reviewers. I can agree with it. YouTube, what is going on, baby? It is your boy, Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, man, we're not gonna be doing any reviewing. We're just gonna, I kind of was just thinking randomly about some random thoughts, and the title of this video will probably be called Stop With The Bullshit Reviews. And I know I've commented on this before. If you were wondering, I'm smoking the Lunatic Torch and Visionary Size, fantastic cigar. There will be an official review of this at some point before the year is over, but just trust me, this is a box-worthy cigar. All right, as I was just saying, over the past year that I've had this channel going, I've become more conscious of things that have been going around as far as cigar reviewers and personalities that, that talk about cigars. And I, it, just, it just makes me think about this one thing. Stop with the bullshit reviews. And I say bullshit reviews in a couple of different aspects. You have the, which is cool. Like I've done it before too, but I all, again, I tell you guys all the time, what's going to get you in the most trouble, not citing your source. So there have been a couple of videos where I didn't know the specific information or whatever. And I go look it up. Oh, I got this from half wheel or cigar dojo, cigar coop, wh wherever the source is. This is where I found this source. I, this is where I found the information at. Two reasons for that. One, to cite your source, and two, that way if you don't know and somebody comes back and says, well, you had the wrong information, if you cited your source, you'd be able to trace it back and say, no, I got this from there, so those that source is the wrong, they got their information wrong. Another reason. So, Bullshit reviews. I see a lot of reviews where you can tell, and that's another thing. Man, stop trying to get over stop trying to get over on people. You know, most of the people that have been smoking for a really long time that have been they got some skin in the game, they know. They because we do a lot of reading too. So we can tell if you're reading something in your review and it's not your words or not something that you're experiencing. We can tell your face will say a lot of stuff too. Also, we get on these bullshit ass flavor notes. Look, man, some of this stuff that I'm hearing people saying is outlandish. Just and and I've told you guys before this too on some live streams and stuff. The viewer, I, I, cause I've I've been on a couple of these videos and a lot of people that watch me are some of the, some of the same people I see commenting on these other videos that have straight bullshit in it. Straight bullshit. You look, man. You get for me at least. Of, this is all gonna be subjective still, but it's just at the same time. It's like come on man. Just keep it real For me, I get most of the time wood in the form of hickory oak sometimes or cedar You get different you can get different chocolates You can get milk chocolate, which is equated with the creaminess usually it'll be a sweeter taste to it So that milk chocolate you have Baker's chocolate. That's kind of dull You can have cocoa powder You can have for me. I taste leather sometimes I sometimes I can pick up a floral note I can taste earth, I can taste hay, um, some cream again, like I said, you can taste cream, black pepper, white pepper, red chili pepper, saltiness, kind of spiciness to it. You know, there's some there's some citrus, which for me most of the time when I get citrus, it's kind of a tangy citrus, which will kind of tie in with that cedar. But tea, vanilla sometimes, but sometimes, man, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. I was watching a very popular person as he was reviewing, he's not, I don't even really consider him a cigar reviewer, but he was reviewing a cigar. And said he got barn dust on the taste of a cigar. Barn dust. I mean, maybe you grew up on a barn or something, I guess. I, I don't know. But the dust that I equate to around the house, I, in my mind, I'm thinking barn dust. Does dust taste any different in a barn and in a house? Or 
Look, man, I I heard that and I was just like, people are just saying whatever now. Just people are just talking, trying to be funny or just whatever. Whatever the reason may be, Barn does. I heard Barn does. I was like, wow. This tastes like grass from a field in Idaho, or this tastes like dirt from the Grand Canyon, or just like I, you know. Who am I though, man? Who who am I? I'm just a regular, I'm just a kid that likes to, to smoke cigars and tell you guys my take on it. Somebody might be looking at my videos and thinking it's bullshit too. But you know what though? What you're gonna get with me, what you see is what you get. I'm always gonna shoot from the hip, no matter what. You're never gonna hear me say no outlandish shit that I taste nitrogen or uh, you know, cherry quiche, strawberry cheesecake with a mousse drizzle on it. Like, I'm not, you're not gonna hear that shit with me. This is at the end of the day, this is just rolled up, rolled up leaves, fermented tobacco. Now, yes, you can get different flavors, mostly being imparted from the soil and minerals of different parts of, of the world. They have their own characteristic. But some of this bullshit these people are saying is just like, and y'all, and, and we, me, the viewers, y'all are letting us, y'all letting them get away with that shit. Y'all are really sitting there listening to this shit and not and not checking these people. So you know what, if I'm them, I'm gonna keep saying outlandish shit too because ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Hey man, like I said at the end of the day, if you just wanna, if you, as long as you're true to yourself, if you, if you really taste bar and dust, or if you really taste unsweet Skittles or unsweetened brown sugar or uh, whatever the hell it is you're tasting, if that's what you're really tasting, then cool, man. But, but just, just be able to look at yourself in the mirror when you get done. And, and know that you are doing the community a service, not a disservice, but a service, and you're being an advocate for helping us get in a better situation. Cause some of this stuff I hear, I'm like, man, we'll take a step forward, and I hear this bullshit, and I'm like, we're taking two or three steps back. I just, hey man, I'm gonna keep enjoying the cigar, I'm gonna drink me a little cream soda, man, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I just had to come up here and get some stuff off my chest. I, I hear these reviews and I'm just like, man, when will this shit end? When will people start calling people on this bullshit? But uh, again, man, I'm just a guy that likes to review cigars. So with that being said, man, y'all make sure y'all remember the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment, man. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. Catch y'all on this next one, man.